you know, I was brought up in religion and I still have my religion. I'm a Christian and an Anglican and I think the message, at least, of my religion for me is a loving, kind, wonderful religion of kindness to each other. Love God and love one another. Very simple rules and basically they're the same rules of most of the world's great religions. They're not always the way it's practiced. And a year ago, I got a lovely letter from a, an Anglican priest who told me, get rid of that man. Get rid of that creature, I think he said. Uh, it is against God's law. Uh, and I sort of raised this ever so gently at home that night. <laughs> I thought, how can I drop this, as it were, in the middle of the soup? And he then said, why don't you leave all those people? They're only telling you what old men in turbans wrote 3,000 years ago. They didn't know the science. They didn't know the human variations. They, they, they were just not aware of these things. Give it away. They'll be happier. You'll be happier. Everyone will be happier. It'll be a contribution to human happiness. <laughs> and I said, no, I won't. He said, well... I have to tell you, he said, if you get rid of me, it'll cost you a lot of moolah. <laughs> but isn't it strange? Don't you think it's strange? There are still people who, despite all Dr. Kinsey's research, all the research about the realities of our species, they still go around saying, you've got to give it up. You've got to give it up. Uh, and these people still have very great influence on the law of the world and it really requires a reality check. Why would you have to give up something that is so kind, so loving, so tender, so gentle? Love. Love is such an important thing and love is often connected uh, with sex and we've got to be truthful and it is relevant and sexual pleasure is not a bad thing, and if it is a, a, a sexual pleasure in kindness and happiness amongst consenting adults, well, the state just has to butt out, and it has nothing to do with the community.